at Harvard and MIT, most of the students who believe in Jesus are in the natural and physical sciences. Recent discoveries in archaeology, physics, biochemistry, and microbiology tend to support a biblical worldview. Archaeology aligns with and sheds light on both Old and New Testaments. Read any respected journal of biblical archaeology, for example, or the Dead Sea Scrolls, or journals on burial customs, or taxation and coins of the Herods, and so forth. In physics, Genesis 1 seems to be the only origin text which aligns with modern astronomy and astrophysics and the discovery of a finite point to the cosmos, a beginning point, a creation, bang, out of nothing, an immaterial beginning strongly suggests the necessity of a beginner, of an uncaused cause who perhaps spoke the universe into existence who spoke into existence time and space and matter and energy. In chemistry, Michael Behe's theory of irreducible complexity within cells questions theories of gradualism and randomness with des design and intention. You might read his book, Darwin's Black Box, or Francis Collins and many others who are working on the human genome. The discovery of DNA as an exquisite and intelligent language, a code, an intention and design at the very core of our existence. It's a wonderful time to ask questions, to explore, to buy a telescope or a microscope, to be a kid again, to have a sense of wonder. Jesus loves that kind of curiosity. He encouraged it wherever he went. As Blaise Pascal said, reason's last step is to acknowledge an infinite number of things beyond it.